Unmanned Combat Air System UCAS X-47B Northrop Grumman is creating the X-47B, a carrier for an unmanned combat air system, or UCAS, for the U.S. Navy. The demonstration phase of the strike fighter-sized unmanned aircraft is currently underway. In the beginning, unmanned aircraft were created as a part of the X-47 program. At an estimated cost of $813 million, the airworthiness of the X-47B unmanned combat flight system demonstrator was created. In July 2012, the aircraft completed a successful first test flight in Potent River, Maryland, in the United States. 2019 is the anticipated year for the X-47B to enter active naval duty. UCASD's history of deployments. The U.S. Navy created the X-47B UCAS as a component of the Carrier Demonstration Program for Unmanned Combat Air Systems. A fighter-sized tailless unmanned aircraft that can be launched from a U.S. Navy aircraft carrier is what the program wants to build and test. The Pegasus X-47A, which was created in 2000, and one as part of the Joint U.S. Air Force and United States Navy program, JUCAS, is the basis for the X-47B. In February 2006, DRPA provided funding for the project, with Northrop Grumman serving as the principal contractor. The Defense Forces, however, decided to discontinue the UCAS development program in favor of other UAVV development programs. As a result, the X-47B's production, which had begun in June 2005, was momentarily put on hold. In August 2007, the Unmanned Combat Air System Demonstrator UCASD program awarded a contract to Northrop Grumman by the U.S. Naval Air Systems Command NAV Air for the development and demonstration of two X-47B aircraft. The UCASD program also aims to open up possibilities for future carrier-compatible unmanned systems to be developed with few resources. Rockwell, Collins, Goodrich, Lockheed Martin, Parker Aerospace, Honeywell, Chick and Aerospace, General Electric, Jigwind River, Dell, Hamilton, Sunstrand Pratt, and Whitney Eaton, and are among the businesses working on the UCASD initiative. The X-47B's features and design, the tailless unmanned aircraft has a wingspan of 62.1 feet and measures 38.2 feet in length. Its shape is tailored to meet applicable requirements for stealth or low observability. A 40-pound load of weapons can be transported in the weapons bay. The X-47B UCAS's computer-controlled operations are intelligent, and its flight control system is autonomous. The hybrid global positioning system's vision-based system manages UCAS's navigation. A mission is in charge of overseeing the flight path's operations, which are pre-programmed. Electro-optical equipment is available on the UCAS Synthetic Aperture Radar EO, infrared. Electronic support measures, ground-moving target indication, inverse SAR, and SAR-EASM, as well as a target indicator for marine movement. For autonomous air refueling, the UCASD will have a U.S. Navy probe and drug, as well as U.S. Air Force boom receptacle devices, rolling X-47B engine performance information, a print and Whitney F-100 PLU-220 U engines, and an exhaust system power the X-47B. The aircraft has a range of about 2,100 nautical miles and a high subsonic speed of about 0.45 meters. The UCIS has a 40,000-foot ceiling at its highest point. Under the UCASD program, two autonomous jet-powered X-47B planes were created. The hardware features and designs of the two demonstration vehicles are comparable, but just one is prepared to test aerial refueling operations. They have room for armament systems and can handle many types of sensors for observation, intelligence, and reconnaissance. The demonstration units don't have a payload fitted. By October 2009, the first X-47B, 
also known as Air Vehicle 1 AV1, had through structural proof testing and was finished. In July 2010, the plane was moved to Edwards Air Force Base AFB for flight testing. The second aircraft, designated AV2, landed at the base on March 20 for testing. In February 2011, the UCASD underwent its first flight test. In November 2012, the Naval Air Station Pung River completed the maiden catapult launch of the X-47B, which was followed by a series of deck handling during the first at sea test phase. In December 2012, CVN-75 was completed on board the U.S. AAR's Truman. The aircraft will also undergo testing for its ability to launch, operate, and recover in a 50 nautical mile radius around a military carrier. In December 2012, the carrier launch recovery and deck handling tests were finished. Aerial refueling demonstration. We complete our work in April 2015.